Hello people, what is going on? This is MD. Hope you're doing well. Um, this video will be a little bit about Turtle Coin and its uh, GUI wallet, graphical interface. Now this wallet at the moment is still being developed. It's very early. This is a very young, young coin. So uh, this means there there's going to be some issues. But overall, I've had, uh, I am really impressed with this wallet and how fast it is and how clean it is. And it is really simple. Um, that being said, I've learned a couple things about the wallet that I would like to share with you guys in the future th those things might be fixed or changed and then this this video and the information will become somewhat obsolete because uh, like I said this early uh, development and um, there is at the moment two wallets y you can use at least uh, th that are being developed by the turtle uh, coin developers that's the, the, the client and the GUI wallet. Now I've also heard that you can import uh, those uh, keys you have into a simple wallet but I am unfamiliar with that at the moment. Um, but if that doesn't work, if those uh, first two wallets don't work for you, you can always try that or other supported wallets in the future and try to get import your keys and uh, do it that way but this video will be about the uh, graphic interface uh, turtle coin wallet um, I do recommend you install the latest version out always because the older versions might not be well supported or have issues um, so first of all uh, there is at the moment some connection errors and bugs with this wallet I have made another video about that and I've also added some extra information in the comments um, to fix those issues that were not in the video. You might want to check that out because I've just updated it and found some more stuff. So the people that have issues with it and can't uh, enter their wallets, there is some things that you uh, might need to do to, uh, to fix that. But overall these are workarounds that, that do uh, work and I've tested a few of them myself and I've checked uh, that they are working. So um, once you are in the wallet at the moment there is some things you need to know about sending and um, receiving coins. If you are mining large amounts um, that means you will be able to send um, larger single transactions in this wallet because what this wallet does it takes a little bit from this transaction in your wallet and then the other transaction and then the other transaction so if you if you have hundreds of smaller transactions in your wallet and once you send a transaction out that is large this means that the transaction size will be also quite large and this will then be uh, forming an issue uh, with the output so the best way to make sure this doesn't happen is to not send larger amounts out than 100,000 turtles um, I've asked on the discord and some someone recommended to me that you should be using 999,000 coins maximum to be safe and the fee that you should be using is 0 0.01 turtle for that so like I said it depends on your inputs and how many you have that will decide on how much you can send in your outputs if you are a really large miner and you have inputs of 1 million coins a piece it will not be a problem to send a million or more but if you are uh, somebody who has a million coins 
but also uh, 50,000 inputs of smaller amounts it might be more difficult because the transaction size will be larger now these are issues at the moment that um, they they are trying to develop uh, and fix so this is all in the future pipeline and that takes time but to be safe um, you should uh, at least know how how the wallet at, at this moment uh, works with sending out transactions and inputs and outputs and it is recommended to use a 0.01 percent if I didn't tell it earlier correctly 0.01 percent of the uh, coins that you should be using as a fee and that is also quite important to tell you guys now furthermore um, this is a pretty uh, straightforward wallet you can see on the top the uh, network sync that's important on the most right side you have the total blockchain height uh, here you have the version of the wallet difficulty of the network here you will have your coins available and the coins that are locked in once you have once you do a transaction uh, the change will will go to locked I believe and then uh, after a while this will be unlocked again which is uh, which happens on a lot of cryptocurrency coins and wallets so this is nothing to worry about if you see locked that will go away now you can here copy your address and we have a couple buttons here which are uh, pretty straightforward you can send some turtle um, now payment idea is something you only want to use if you're sending it to an exchange and you need to uh, provide a payment idea ID so do not use this uh, if you are not sure you have to be absolutely sure or something can happen and uh, it speaks vice versa if you send coins to an exchange and you do not enter a payment ID and the coins won't be accepted so you want to be double checking this um, so about mixing uh, that is something that I need to study a little bit more to tell you guys uh, how that works exactly but they are at the moment develop developing uh, better ways to uh, make those transaction sizes smaller now RPC console you can use these commands to uh, do specific things can be really handy for instance reset your wallet resync it and it can be uh, good to fix some bugs and issues so you might want to check that out um, backup keys is really important here you will find your private uh, spend key your public spend key and your um, view key which you should be uh, careful and not tell anybody about and write them down safely somewhere and those are basically the codes that control the access to your wallet so you want to be very sure that you back up those and also you want to back up your wallet file make a couple, couple of copies of that file and then keep it on a secured device logs here you see different uh, transaction logs which can be handy I think these 
might be the hashes of those transactions you might be able to find later on in the blockchain I'm not completely sure about that but it could be so um, so more information about what is happening inside the wallet so overall this is a very clean very fast wallet that I really like and there is not much else to say about it um, here on the left side you see a few uh, updates that it's syncing the network turtle coin is uh, I think the blocks are going really fast uh, 30 seconds or less so it's a really fast coin it's based on Bitcoin and crypto note um, so that means that the blocks are um, going really fast and you should always be checking on what the total blockchain height is and if you are synced to that height correctly now if you are mining and you don't see all your transactions once you have opened this wallet for instance you have mined a, f a couple weeks and uh, you open your wallet uh, you won't see uh, your available balance right away correctly this will take a while you need to have this wallet open and then the transactions will be coming in and that is just perfectly normal so what you do is just open this wallet and just park it park it for a half an hour and then everything will be uh, nice and dandy and it will be uh, your total available coins will appear as correct uh, so don't panic if you open this wallet and you're missing uh, all your coins because it still needs to sync and update that is what I noticed um, so that is important to know as well so it will not uh, appear correctly once you open this wallet it will take a while for it to fully appear alright guys that is on how to use this wallet and some extra information about it that I know of uh, today in the future this wallet might be uh, changing so I might make another video about it or we'll see how it goes at least uh, people have something to go by now and I will round it off at that so take it easy and have a good evening